Hi, my name is Dan Tartaglia, and in this video, we're going to go through the process of using a software called Earthenview to batch convert files, images from one format to another, and also batch rename images. On the screen right now, I have two different images going. I have one of a commercial property and one of a, of a river area. And there's about 10 photos each for each different site. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close these guys here and reopen this EarthenView software without anything open. It is a freeware software if you're not using it commercially, but if you are, you can go to help and you can go down to about EarthenView and go to the website. And then if you scroll down a little bit here, there's donate support register. And it's only 10 euros, so it's really cheap. Let's go to the file pull down and click on batch conversion rename. And you can do a batch conversion of the file format as separately than batch rename, one or the other, or you can do them both at the same time. So let's do them both at the same time. So right now I have a bunch of images right here, JPEGs. They're all pretty big. See the dimensions are pretty big. So I want to go to advanced right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these images uh, 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to put 1920 here and preserve aspect ratio so that this will automatically be 1080. Make sure that's checked up, by the way. The other thing I'm going to do is a lot of times, the especially the drone pictures I take all come out as 240 DPI. So I'm going to make them 100 instead of 240. And for that, that's all I'm going to change right here. Hit OK. And we're going to make these PNG files instead of JPEG files. Next, we're going to look at the uh, batch rename settings. So right now, if I rename these files, they, they're going to use this format. They're going to start with image and then uh, these pound symbols, which are three pound symbols, represents 1001 to 999. So if I, for example, pick all these files, I'll just do at all. If I, if I run this, the actual batch, they'll be called image 001 through whatever number I have, which is not what I want to have, want to do. So I'm going to change this so that it's different. So let's say, let's say this project is a uh, for a client. I'll just call it Acme. And I'll put an underscore and I'll put, say, three pounds. So if I start this batch right now, what will happen is it'll, it'll do exactly what it's saying. Here's the output folder. And I hit start batch. And see how it's calling them Acme underscore 001 PNG and all the way to about, I think, 20 or 21. I'll exit batch. And if I go to Windows Explorer, you'll see here in my change folder, here are all the files. And now they're all 1920 by 1080, a lot smaller, and they're all uniform and consistent. That's the benefit of using this tool right here. It's very fast and very simple. There are a lot of other settings we didn't go through for batch conversion, also for batch rename. When you get a chance, take a look at those settings. Ones you went through are the most common ones you may use, but there may be other ones that might be useful as well. Thank you. Bye.